Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome. We're sisters in the kitchen. And today we're going to be cooking beef chips and rice. That sounds good. Yeah. I, I cook this a lot whenever my when I was raising my kids. I don't, um, I, bought, I buy stew meat. I don't know. Do you do that when you make that? Or do you I do have, a roast? I have, but I have, and I bought a roast right. and cut yeah. it up, depending I, on what, what's available. Right. I started to buy a roast, and I said, no, I'm just going to buy the little tippets. And I bought a huge package, and I just kind of divided it into servings. And um, I think the ones I thought after that had the very smallest pieces in it. <laughs> well, that's, that's it'll cook quicker. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I said, oh, well, this ain't a whole lot of big pieces, but anyway... You can um, you can pick out your bigger pieces if you're real, if you buy a big package. Okay. But I didn't do it. Okay, so but I'm going to do the rice first, and it's just it's it's not minute rice. Matter of fact, it's par it's a parboil. Par 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 okay, and uh, let's see here. What I do is uh, I've got um, water in here, and I do not put the water. I, uh, let me turn this you down. don't start it boiling. I do not. I do not uh, heat the water. I put it all in there at one time. Did you get a new canister? No, I've had these things. They just come from Walmart. Um, I like it. And you know, any rice you use twice as much rice as you do water. So whatever, um, you however much rice you want to cook. I'm cooking a lot of rice. But Did I, you say that right? I think it's twice as much water, not equal amounts, but twice as much water. It's twice as much water as you do rice. You said twice as much rice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's twice as much water, two times the water as you do rice. Yeah. I said that backwards. I didn't. I'm glad you popped. You know, glad you told them. That's gonna make a lot of rice. Is that pot big enough? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> You're like Mike. <laughs> Mike gets a little tiny pot to cook something in. Um, and then I just, uh, I put a little salt in it. I don't know. That, that is good rice. Yeah, it is good rice. And this is my rice. And you have to tell me what to do, man. Okay, I, in here. just a moment, I will. Uh, I don't know, Linda, I'll put a little butter in mine, do you? Yeah, you I do. I'll put a little butter in there. And once it's, once the water starts boiling, then you turn it down to low and put a lid on it. And cook it for 20 minutes. So, but it's got to come to a boil for a bit. All right, now. Oh, I forgot to heat my skillet up. All right, I'll just go ahead and turn it on and let it start. Because this is what we're going to do the, um, the, uh, the uh, meat. Okay. And Linda, I guess, uh, if you don't mind, um, I'm going to put a, I, I got me a little salt. We'll, we'll talk about this in a minute where I got this. And if you're following me, you probably know I put, uh, this is flour. You just don't coat your meat. Okay, so what salt. am I doing here? Um, just slice the bell pepper and onion. In rings? In rings. You want warm and rings. Yes, okay. please, yes. And I'm putting some garlic powder in here. I don't know, is that, that too thick? Uh, probably, probably not. Light. That's okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cook down. And then I put pepper in my flour. I just love my little salt and pepper keeper. Uh, and then I, I'm going to get my store and get this fork out. Stir it up. Mix up my flour, my salt and pepper and garlic powder. Um, and then after my skillet gets warm, I'm going to put some oil in it. Oh, no, I'm being careful with this knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, please do. And I'm just using vegetable oil to cook this in. Um, do you want that center out? Yes, I do, please. I had already cleaned out the yeah. inside of the bell pepper and took all the seeds and the, I guess, membrane or whatever it was in it. But on the end, I hadn't cut No, do you yet. want this too? You can, just you can chop it up. It's all going to... Um, you know, get soft whenever right. I put it in the in the oil. This is something Mama would cook, yeah. isn't it? Reminds me of Mama. Yeah. So, I'll just um, do it like this. I'm gonna. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put my oil in in my 
in my skillet. And I washed my meat already. And I use, I use this little strainer, this little easy measure calling the strainer for everything. So I washed my meat and drained it in here. And now I'm going to dip my meat. And the flour. You know, that's one of the things I that do know that. Stock sewing. I do know that. I'm going to order me some more. Yeah, me too. And this heat, I want it on about medium high. I want one. You, got, you, you want one or do yes. you have one? No, I want one. Okay. You need to, okay. Uh oh, I didn't get my oil hot enough. When I put that in there and it didn't sizzle, that means I did not get the oil hot enough, so. Just do it. Let it get heated a little more. And like I said, these I couldn't believe it when I when I thought out the raw package. These are little bitty pieces of meat, so they will cook faster. But well, that's good though. Yeah, Ben, trying to show you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. I forgot that for you. Okay, I gotta go back to trash. 
I'm going to wipe my stove off. I got all that flour. There's not any way I can do it. I probably don't have these chopped up fine enough, the ones that I chopped. What? That little piece. Oh, that's okay. But I'm going to put them in a baggie. I'm going to set my flour aside because I'm going to sift that flour and use it when I make the gravy. And normally, I would use these tongs to pick up the big pieces of meat and turn them as I brown it. But um, um, I'm, I'm probably just going to get a spatula and, and turn it because it's such little pieces. Now, if you want to, if you have really big pieces and you're in a hurry and you want this to cook faster, you could use a little meat tenderizer on it. Where's your uh, sifter, Mary, and I'll sift the flour for you. This is my new little sifter right there. Okay. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is cute. Isn't that cute? Um, can I just sift it yes, in the paper can. plate yes, and then put it back in there? Yes, you can. Okay, that is cute. I bought that at TJ Maxx the other day. I love TJ Maxx. I do too. I spent both of my gift cards at one time I that we too. got Christmas. I did too. I hadn't set my cracker barrel one yet, though. Have you? No, I haven't. We'll have to go for lunch or breakfast yeah. one day. Yeah. We gotta go shopping, Mary. I know it. Why is it gonna be here? We gotta go shopping for our stuff we're gonna take in May. A lot of the stuff that you bought last year, you're not gonna be able to wear. I know. Oh, that's right. We're going to the ladies' conference. And, um, Yeah, a lot of my clothes don't fit me. Um, they fit me all right, but they look a little tacky. I sure hope that we have Mama's book. Um, oh, no. Before, um, enough time before ladies' conference that we can get a few out the door. And, yeah. Okay, I got your flower ready. That cute little sister. You with that um, flour and grease reminds me of when I um, caught our kitchen on fire. <laughs> cover my tracks yeah. uh, no, I was 16 I, I wanted to make soap of told me to put flour on it. I put flour on it and it exploded. Oh, no. Sticky oh, stuff all over the kitchen. Oh, no. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. 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 Yeah, our bowl doesn't matter. I'm going to take this thing up. Mm. 
you know, stay cooked fast. And that, I mean, it's beef. Yeah, I see one piece there. Yeah, it's cooking. Yeah. Thank you. You want me to hold it? Here, you don't need to do that to hold it. I'm just going to take this out. And that looks really good. You could, uh, Mama, Mary. <laughs> what? I could say it's Mama. <laughs> I'm just Linda. I'm not, um. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just trying to get this out of here, and I think a spatula probably would have done better. Well, um, They're over here. They're over here. That's okay. Any way you can get this out of here is fine. yesterday I just it, it it makes so much difference when you're doing something on the camera right and 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 when you're by yourself but yeah. but it's mostly it's because yeah. you're you think you've got something and you don't realize how many steps yeah. you take in the yeah. kitchen when you're right. working yeah you need to you need to cook these onions and bell peppers in your oil <laughs> before you add your flour that's okay it'll still work when it's in the gravy like. uh, oh yeah are you going to put the lid on it when you make the... I'm fixing to put the lid on it right... Yes. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on it right now and it'll help steam. Okay. It'll help steam that. Do you do you like that steam? I love this. Is that saute? My uh, favorite. Skillet. Yeah. What, what would you want? The yeah. lid. Oh, here it is. I get it. It'll, I'm going to kind of steam these onions and bell pepper a little bit. I'm not trying to brown that flour at all. So we because your broth is brown and it's going to yeah I'm using make it yeah I'm using beef broth so um, I'll um, and I I cooked this some I've warmed with some uh, English beans and carrots you had that uh, there uh, make a meal Mama loved English beans I know you know what I do too I do too I do too I do, too. I do. I do. are we through with this um, cutter here the mat I am yes okay. we're through with that we're just going to wait for this uh for the bell pepper and the onions to um, steam a little bit. Remember that time we were in Lake Geneva, Mary, and we all went to Jackie's? Yes, she picked supper for us all. I do remember. And we cleaned up, and yeah. uh, this is when I was traveling. Mary came to Lake Geneva with me and stayed a couple weeks, and after we were cleaning up, somebody put knives in the dishwasher yeah. and walked her dinner. Right. Mary said, I know it wasn't Linda. <laughs> So we'll just give that a few minutes to steam. It's going to take a little bit longer to saute okay. those bell yeah. peppers and onions because I put the flour in there first. But that's okay because actually it's going to cook. It'll tenderize. The, uh, the longer you cook, 
cook yes. gravy with that onions and bell peppers in it, it will it will um yeah, steam. I'm just gonna let it just steam a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna put it all together, and then we're gonna sit down and and um, show our uh, we uh, we've had like five or six of our uh, friends send us gifts, yeah, and we're kind of behind on get showing y'all and telling y'all, and so I thought we would do that uh, today. And uh, I want to do a, a shout out to Jennifer Bates. So she's a friend of ours in Alaska. And um, I told her last night that, um, um, I, well, I, I, she probably thought that I wasn't going to say anything. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you what she sent. She sent Mary and I something. But um, uh, it was very sweet. But um, hi, Jennifer. And thank you for always being so thoughtful and so sweet and so supportive of us. And uh, if we mm -hmm. ever get to Alaska, we're going to look yeah, her up. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, yeah, we are. That'd be a nice little trip. Well, we'd like six more minutes on our rice. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm an impatient person. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. I just, I, I get so antsy when I'm wanting to do something. I, like that cake yesterday. I wanted to pour that chocolate on that cake so bad. I, but I knew it would ruin it. And you know what? After, after we filmed, after we got through, we did a uh, little video of us for, are, our members. for our members. Uh, so if you, you members, you go in to look at the recipe that Linda did yesterday, we videoed us pouring the chocolate syrup on there in yeah. the finished product. And cut it. And cut it. Yes, yeah. we did. But um, um, it turned out real good. It just yeah. takes it just takes a yeah. while to do it does. To uh, do something like that. Yeah. It takes a while to cook anyway, yeah. unless you're just putting together a really quick meal. But baking a cake, when there's so many steps to it, it really does. That looks good, Mary. Thank you. Now, I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead and put this up. This is uh, beef broth. I'm going to stir that because I've had Did you make that I with made, the tones? I made face? that with the tones of beef face, yes. And that comes, we get that from Sam. What I do is I boil the water. I don't get it in the microwave. I boil yeah. the water in this measuring cup, and then once it got hot and boiling, I put the base in there and stirred it. And this is a wet base. It's yes. not like a bouillon cube. It's a wet base. And it's not low sodium, so no, you, you're, not. but it's it very, cool. very good. Yeah. This is so much richer than the low sodium yeah. stuff that we buy. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that come to a boil and then I'm gonna put the meat in it and cover it and cook it for while we finish talking. It's very simple. Very, very simple. I used to make this a lot. I, I used to do this same thing with hamburger meat. Whenever, you know, we couldn't afford steak yeah. when I was raising the family, I'd make little meatballs oh, and do them the same way. Good. And, yeah. and make the gravy and the onions and serve it over. Sometimes I serve it over noodles, mashed potatoes, right. rice, whatever. Just you know? to switch up a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can, uh, you, d you do according to your budget, <laughs> you know. So if you can't afford steak or, or, or beef, just you, you think about different times in your life, what you were doing and how you yeah. were doing it at different stages of your right. kids' lives and what time. Yeah, whenever I'm cooking something, it always brings back when yeah. I used to cook it. What do you need? I need a, the washcloth. I need to wipe that camera off. I mean, that stove. I see that above there and it bugs me. Do the yard look so pretty, Mary, when I drove up? Oh, I... I'm on the plants. I'm on the plants. Mary I'm, loves to work with the flowers. I'm not. Um, I got a lot to do this summer, spring. If last year I can't, I just I, I didn't have a pretty yard like I like I had wanted to the year before. Well, you I'm were just, so busy though, Mary. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of time to spend in your yard. You have to. You have to work at it. You have to water them plants every day. And when I'd come in, it'd be so hot and tired. <laughs> I'd lay down or whatever and. And I forget to go back out there and water them because I'd always water my plants after dark. Yeah. Because uh, uh, in the cool of the day. That, remember, that's what Pinky yeah. Ball, she used to tell us. Yeah. You water your plants early in the morning you know, 
or late in the evening. So you like water in the middle down. of the day because it'll burn them up. Right. Well, whatever's done at our yard, Mike does it. I'm not a yard person, never have been. But I love pretty flowers. I do love them. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. I'm just we're gonna stand here for just a minute because it's not but a minute to that rice is done. I'm gonna turn the burner off on it and um, then we'll uh, now I you know what now you know you're supposed to cook it 20 minutes the rice and take it off. Yeah. Sometimes I turn the burner off and I leave it on the burner. Cooking. Yeah. I leave it on the burner. So actually you're cooking it a little bit longer, but yet it's not no fire under it. Right. So that's um, that's the way I do it. Uh, good. So it is well, like another minute, but I just didn't want to sit down and have to get right back up. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'll have this turn it off. But yeah. I can turn it off for you. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and sit down. It's gonna it, when it gains, it likes one minute, Linda. So what do you want me to bring over there, Mary? Um, those things that's on the piano. Okay. All that stuff that's on the piano. Try to get it. Thank you. Sorry. Here, I'll slide it down this way. I should have already had it over here. Uh, but it's some things that people <clears throat> sent us and we wanted to. Um, Are some of these, some of these duplicates, they're mine and yours? Yes, I didn't, Linda, I didn't even take most of the things out of mine so they could see that, that y'all y'all sent it to both of us. And another reason I didn't take it out of the package is because I wanted to make sure that we said the right name. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I forget. And it's um, not intentional, but we right. do. Well, let's see. Okay, you can open that one first. Okay. That's from, uh, she's, uh, this lady sent both of us a you card. A Valentine's Isn't card? That pretty? Isn't that pretty? Valentine's card? That's so pretty. And she sent one to Linda and one to me. And this is from Robin. Yes. Yeah, Robin. From Robin. I uh, talked to her several times. Holzhauser, and she's yes. in North Carolina. Thank yes. you so much, Robin. Such a this sweet is lady. She, the first time I talked to her and I answered, she said, Oh, I can't believe you actually answered the phone. Look at the beautiful Valentine's Isn't that cute? She sent me one that too. That is so cute. And I have it on my table. And, and, uh, and a pretty and a scarf. scarf. And I'll be wearing this Sunday. Isn't that pretty? With the black. I oh, love that. That's pretty. beautiful. Thank yeah. you, Robin. Yeah. I'll be wearing mine Monday. I mean, Sunday. <laughs> These are so cute. Thank you, Robin. All right. I'll put mine over here. I'm not sure. Okay. This is... This must be something you brought. Oh, that is. That's what Jennifer sent us. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I didn't say it's something in it. Oh, is we not going to show it? Yeah, we're not going to show okay. that. Okay. All right. Jennifer All right. knows we appreciate it. Okay. And this is. Thank you, Jennifer. This is um, uh, from Amy Van Pelt. Amy Van Pelt. I yeah. recognize Amy her Van name. Amy Pelt. And they said she sent us uh, each a uh, it's a holy cross. Aren't it's a cross pretty? that's made to hold when you pray. I really love mine and hope this little gift brings you comfort as you heal and recover. I'm thankful for the positivity and love that you both bring to our father to your father. And these are little bags to little keep bags. Them in. So she sent us these both are one beautiful. Of those. Thank you so much, Amy. Now, um, do you have names on them? Uh, it, those are to both, both of us. us. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this is, I've done show, that's yours. I showed oh, mine this morning. <laughs> I was, I used my, used it, my salt and pepper. I'm so bowl. excited. Isn't that nice? It's from Gary uh, Boyette. Yeah, Gary Boyette. Um, okay. Isn't that nice? I love it. This is such beautiful wood. Yeah. It's bamboo. And, and uh, Gary and, and Leanne. Gary and Gary Leanne. Leanne. And it's, um, I guess it's a salt and pepper yeah. bowl, right? And it's bamboo. That bamboo. is beautiful. Thank, Thank you beautiful. so much. I love that. Okay. This is that one. 
I left them in the bag because I, you know, I forget. Just, um, no. Mary, people are. Yeah, I know. Y'all don't expect so y'all to sweet. send us anything. Um, I mean, um, do we have a question? <laughs> Linda has. She, <laughs> if y'all could just sing behind the camera what Linda just does. <laughs> she has. She forgets of ways that. She has a letting us know when you have when she uh, there's a question. She's very creative. Yeah, so she got real creative on that one. <coughs> um, and this is a card uh, from uh, Candy Bud. Uh, it's a get well card, but these are for both of us. Aren't these beautiful? They're crosses, cross. Those are beautiful. Thank you so much, Candy. It's prayer cloth. Is it what you said? Prayer, prayer cloth. Yes. And she crocheted. She crocheted. Isn't that nice? That is so sweet. And then she's tapped us both. The, uh, um, the power of prayer. The poem in the scripture. The poem in the scripture. Yeah. Thank you very so, much. Here, you, you can well, choose so, first. It, it, you it, always let me choose, so you <laughs> choose first. Uh, well, which one? That, which one? It, it, it don't matter. Choose. Me. Uh, I guess I'll take the pink one. Okay. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank yeah. you and very, very much. Okay. I'll put mine over here. But we'll separate this later, and then this is um, to both of us. And like I said, I had not even taken it out because I didn't want to forget <laughs> who it was from. Um, oh, this is hand cream. Yes. Moisturizing nice? cream. Ne uh, is it ne is it Neva? Nevia? Um, Nevia, maybe? I'm not sure. Nevia? That looks really nice. Uh, and this is from Lorraine. Uh, Weichel? 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Lorraine. We, we will definitely use this. You see, I have two band-aids on my finger. That is very, very and, nice. Thank uh, you. You can read the letter. And Thank a beautiful you. card. Yeah, I had done open mine, but I just Thank didn't take it out. Thank you very much. But I sure appreciate it. Sure do. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, now, what's the questions? Um, why do you wash your meat? Why do I wash it? Well, I get, I get the blood off. That's the only reason I wash it. Do you wash yours? I absolutely yeah. wash it. I wash I'm it afraid somebody else's hands have right. touched That's it. And I don't want to wash well, it. Well, you know they have to. Don't they touch it when they're when they're chopping it up, or, yeah. or do they do that in a grinder? I've always. I don't know, them. but I wash my meat. I know. I, I know some people know, don't, but I've always yeah. washed it. I do wash it. Get some of that, everything. Get some of that blood out of there. Now, Linda, is it time? Did you turn the burner off on the rice? Yes, okay, ma'am. Thank you. You have another question? Yes. Uh, where'd you get your salt and pepper shaker? The little, the, uh, that, they talk about the little wood bamboo. The shaker. No. Oh, the said, shaker. I don't see how they, you don't have one out. Uh-uh. But they said salt shaker. and pepper. Well, it's, Maybe she gave me that. That's that bamboo. Uh, yeah. That was that one, one of our, uh, our, our, our sweet friends. Yeah. That is, was it so, Jerry and, um, uh, and Leanne. Leanne. Oh, it has salt and pepper in it. Yes. I missed that. That's yes. what they meant. Yes. I love that. Maybe I'm going to I do too. get mine ready as soon as I get home. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's such beautiful <laughs> I wood. Know, I love it. How do you keep your uh, t um, tips tender? Well, uh, the trick to it is cooking it a long time. When you're making your gravy, don't make a thick gravy. Make it very thin because if you make it thick, it's going to it's going to be the gravy is going to be too thick. The longer you cook it, the thicker it'll get, but it needs to, to cook. I didn't set the time. Almost like you're braising yes, it in, the, in yes, a thin gravy. Yes, It will be tender. Now, I have, I have before, when there's big pieces of meat, I have put uh, some meat tenderizer in the flour. Okay. I, have, I have done that before. And it really does make it thick, uh, tender. Now, I've done all kind of ways. I've pressure cooked it. I pressure, pressure cook, cook it. I um, pressure cooked my meat before. If you um, if you like marinades, you can marinate. Yes, you can the marinate. Night before. Yes. Uh, marinating it always tenderizes it. Yeah. But I didn't want to do that, especially after I seen where those pieces were so little. The, those pieces there, you don't have to worry about them being tender. <laughs> They're too little to be tough. Beef broth. Where did you get it? The beef broth. Um, here, inside the door. It's in the door, Linda, in the refrigerator. Uh, I got it at Sam's. Uh, it's Tones. Oh, well, this is chicken. Chicken is right beside it should be. We buy chicken and beef. And this is not refrigerated in Sam's. It's on the aisle with the spices right. and stuff. Right. 
But you keep it in the refrigerator at least once I do. I do open. Yes. It's gluten free. It's beef based. We're not sponsored by them by no means. Um, but I just used and that four cups of water. I used two tablespoons of uh, broth. Mary, I'm going to say something funny. Uh, you know, um, we, uh, I don't know if it's funny to y'all, but it's funny to me. Um, y'all know we both sell Pampered Chef, and every once in a while we get, um, not not many, but every once in a while we get people that get bent out of a shape because we talk about Pampered Chef. <laughs> well, the next question is about Pampered Chef, so. <laughs> so, um, I went back and watched some of our old videos the other day. Uh -huh. We talk about all kinds of products that we yeah. don't sell, and yeah. we don't have anything we don't, to do we, with it. We're we not, just, you yeah. know, we just let yeah. y'all know what we're using. Yeah. So, and yeah, Pepper right. Chef don't sponsor us either. No, they do not. They mm -hmm. don't, uh, we're not sponsored by nobody, uh, except sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Uh, or we're fixing to be sponsored. We haven't yet. Linda, would you stir that uh, tea, uh, beef tips for me, please? Yes, just, just make sure they're not sticking. Nope, they're not sticking perfect. Good. It smells good. good. Linda's got a Christmas napkin on her head. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next question about Pampered Chef? They want to know what each one of y'all's favorite Pampered Chef product is. Oh, oh goodness. You can go first because I, oh, I know what goodness. mine is. Um, my favorite, this may be, may be simple, but it, it is simple, but it's that utility knife. I use that little green utility knife. Oh, the, the coated one. The coated, that's my favorite. And then the, the cookware, the cookware, the um, Pepper Chef cookware, all of the pieces. I love it. The big board, that's it. Uh-huh. Um, all the cookware. It's just something I use every day. Oh, uh, I mean, I could just go on and on. It took you a while to start bones. using it. Yeah. yeah. This is a utility knife here. It has a sheath. This right here, you can use it for almost anything that you're going to cut. And it's sharp. And it is very sharp. Those uh, prep bows uh, yeah. is another thing we use all the time. I use it all, all the time. So far as just my favorite, I don't know what would just be my number one favorite. Except maybe this knife, because I can use it on anything. What's yours? Mine's a, um, the, a quick cooker. Um, I was sold on it the first time I used it, and um, um, I love it. It's such a time saver with meal planning, um, and, and that's, you know, um, I, it was my favorite item before we ever yeah, even started was. selling that. It was. Yeah. It was. But um, my, my another item that I am totally in love with is our pastry mat. I mean, it is the yeah. best pastry mat, and yeah. I've worn out a few in my yeah. seventy, almost seventy-four yeah. years on the earth. Uh, it's it's fantastic. I'm just I'm impressed. I would have never, I've never had as nice of, of a kitchen utensils and pots and pans as I have now yeah. the pepper shell. And I love the I just never, too. I just never yeah. uh, had any real um, nice things like I have. So I'm just, I mean, it's like Christmas and you to know, me all the time. I but, didn't even mind the cookware for a long time. I you bought, bought you a set for bought your birthday. Set, yeah. But I was, Christmas. I was, Christmas. was it Christmas? Yeah, it Christmas. was Christmas. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't buy it because we used Magnolite and had used Magnolite for years. Yeah. I mean, not years, decades. And one day I was in the kitchen and I dropped the two quart boiler. And um, if y'all know what, most of you know what Magnolite is, uh, the boilers had um, these black handles mm -hmm. on them and I don't know what they were made out of, but it broke. And I've had that for ages. Exactly. It wasn't something that could be repaired. And right then, I said, I'm going to buy me a set of this cookware. And yeah. I did. And yeah. I absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. Well, it's an investment. Right. Well, little Linda, uh, she got cruising art. Is that what it was? Cruising art, yeah. For her, when she got married, what, how long ago? 20 years. 20 years ago. And uh, it was still in good shape, but Linda traded it for Pepper Shelf. <laughs> so and I using, love it. And she's using Pepper Shelf, and she loves it, so... Um, it really is good cookware, and it's got a lifetime warranty on it. Yeah, you know? it does. So um, I, we really enjoy it. Linda, little Linda, would you put that in the refrigerator for me, please? Thank you. Do we have any other questions? Um, well, I, we ask you to go away from the camera. <laughs> Sorry about no, that. No, that's okay. Uh, there was one that I, I hadn't had time to write down yet. Okay. Um, I can't remember. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, but. Um, it's so peaceful here. It, it is. It is. I love it. I wish I could just 
I'm not almost like little Braden. Linda's a little, uh, little boy. I say little boy. He's not he's, little. But he's, he's, tall, he's six foot tall, uh, but he's 15. No, is he 16? He's 16. He's 16. He loves to come out here and just walk. He loves to walk all over this property and just listen to his music and walks. Mm -hmm. He enjoys that so much. And you know what? I understand that. I it is too. so peaceful. I'm the last one on the road. And uh, it is just peaceful. We don't have that much traffic going down the road. It's, I guess because, and you didn't travel full time like I did. You did stay in hotels a lot. Yeah. But every once in a while, I'll think about, you know, all the months and years that I spent on the road with noise, you know, people waking you up in the middle of the night, congregated outside of your room in the hotel. Yeah. And it's so nice to be in a nice, peaceful yeah. we're area really where living, it's quiet. Uh, in our older years, we're really, yeah, really blessed. We are so blessed that we can um, just do what we enjoy and get to be with one another. I know. That's what excites me. My, I get to see my daughter three times a week. I mean, I've seen her off and on. And you get to see Carla a lot more often And I see Carla more often. More often and I get to be with my sister more often. So it is just, I just feel over-blessed. I, I, I think about Mama so much. And um, her time on earth was done several years ago. But um, she would have just she? love sitting at our table while we're cooking. If you know, it's so many times that we're when we're doing the videos, I can. Nah, I'm try not to cry. <laughs> um, I can just imagine Mama sitting in the I know, chair I know in it. the living room because Mama did that so much. When I would be in the kitchen, she'd be in the living room yeah. in, a wheel, in her wheelchair, just was carrying on conversation. And I feel like she's with us. You know, I do too. And Mary, uh, especially since she's lost all this weight and looks fantastic, um, she's always had Mama's mannerisms. She favors Mama. Um, Charles has Mama's mannerisms. Um, Edward and I are more. Uh, I think our mannerisms dad. are more like our daddy, mm -hmm. but um, I will, I, sometimes Mary will turn or she'll make a facial expression or she'll say something and I just, my mama's face is just right there. It is right well, there. mama's face was like mine. She wrinkled. <laughs> I mean, just no, lots of wrinkles. But mama had, she had a neck, I don't, my neck sits on my chest. But uh, Mary is more, she's, like she's built more like Mama yeah. was. Yeah. And, um, and her face and your skin is yeah, like every Mama. Time Mama, Mama has weight. beautiful skin. Yeah, every time I lose weight, it, uh, my face, it, uh, I have a lot more wrinkles. And you remember when, when Mother passed away in her coffin because of the embalming, when they embalmed her, it made her feel out the record. Uh, the she looked her face. 15 years she younger. She looked so young. She, she was 77, and she looked so young yeah. because she, of she didn't have wrinkles. But you know what? That's okay. You know what? I don't care. That used to bother me about the wrinkles in my face. I don't care anymore. Well, it's I not, learned a long time ago. You know, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not I'm into plastic know. surgery and all that kind of stuff. If even if I was, I couldn't have had it. But if I if I was into it, I would have had all these scars taken care of on my face. I look like Scarface from all the skin cancers I've had taken off my face. But um, uh, we are who we are. You know, I am not ashamed of who I am. I'm not ashamed of the way I look because I believe as long as you're clean and dressed properly and dressed the way we dress, which is modest, um, then I believe that, um, I believe that's fine. Yes, I, yeah. I'm fine with it. If I had all the money in the world, I would not have plastic surgery. I would not do nothing. I'll myself. tell you what I would have done years ago. I would have had my teeth fixed if I could have. Yeah, that always bothered you, but that's you. That's you. you know what? Your teeth makes me think when you was a little girl. Yeah. It does. It does. It makes, and it's, and you're beautiful. Smile. About it's 10 you. years ago, um, there was a new dentist where I went, where I go to the dentist. And um, when I went in there, he was really big on cosmetic dentistry. And he comes in and, you know, he's a real charismatic guy and, you know, really, you know, a salesman. And he said, he said, you know, I can fix your smile. I can give you a smile. And he told me what all he could do. And I walked out to the car and I cried all the oh, way home. Oh, he shouldn't have said that. You because got a beautiful smile. I said, if this had been 10 years ago, I would have 
found a way to got my teeth oh, fixed. That was ugly. He shouldn't have said that. But then I got over it. And I thought, you know, I probably wouldn't even look like myself if my teeth did you know, was hey, Linda, did you know what? I hadn't even thought about it. But, uh, but little Linda had the same mouth that you did before she got braces. Remember that? <laughs> her her teeth was a little, you know, it was kind of pointed yeah. just a little bit. Linda's was like that. Mine's pointed a lot. No, but little Linda's was that way. And when she got braces, they, they um, widened well, her it, mouth. Like, yeah, it, it her that's face, what braces. Her, her face and... And her smile totally looked different. It changed her whole looks. It yeah, did. It and changed we her did, whole looks. You know, I don't. I don't want y'all to say that. that think that I'm feeling sorry for myself. We didn't. We didn't do that kind no, of stuff. When we I did, we didn't get. And we went to the dentist. We had a tooth pulled. Yes, That's what we done. It cost two dollars. That's why I got. And uh, they just parcels, didn't. Yeah. They didn't have money for things yeah, like that. And right. I don't. You know, I don't feel bad at mom and daddy because they didn't. That's yeah. there wasn't too many people unless you were. You know the uppity people yeah. um, in town that did get braces yeah. on their kids' teeth, yeah. but no, um, them, uh, uh, your, your teeth, teeth have always been really, uh, really straight. You yeah. know well, that's just how it is. I, one kid is, one kid is not. <laughs> <laughs> but I had some uh, wisdom teeth. I had to have pulled, you yeah. know, because we couldn't do anything else with them, and and uh, I had to have a partial on my jaw teeth. But anyway, the Lord's been good to me. He's been good to me. Oh, he's been good to all of us. Yeah. Okay. Now, Linda, um, what uh, is it? Oh, we got another question. Okay, what's the question? Um, if um, you were buying five items for a new bride, what would they be? Oh, do we have a budget? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about budgets. Um, so, no budget. You know five and I'll name okay. five. Okay, all right. Um, the cookware would be the first one. You know the yeah. cookware, and um, and then you go down. I would think for a bride, and the reason that I'm thinking right in these terms is because I have a granddaughter that would be turning 18, and she's wanting to move out. A great granddaughter. Great, yeah, great granddaughter. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, you do. <laughs> no. I wasn't aware of that. No. <laughs> a great granddaughter. She's one that my granddaughter adopted. Okay. And uh, she's when she turns 18, she wants to move out. And so I'm thinking of what to get her, and it would be the utensils, the, okay. the, the utensils, the pastry mat, measuring cups, uh, the little um, uh, prep bowls. No, no, okay. how many is that? The cookware, oh, okay. utensils, measuring okay. cups, mm -hmm. uh, um, prep bowls. One more. Um, and uh, and some knives. You okay, I'm gonna say utensils. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Since Mary named the cookware, I would, since it would be a new bride, they probably, you know, they might or might not have children, but more than likely they don't. So the basic set of cookware, mm -hmm. I would say I would add a good skillet to that that goes with, with the set yes. because we have several that mm -hmm. goes with the set. So mm -hmm. I'd add a good skillet because, you know, she might want to impress her in-laws and fix a big meal. She'd need a, a bigger skillet than that what comes with right. the cookware set. So I would either get the 12 inch saute pan with the lid and the steamer, or I'd get the 12, uh, the really big skillet, oh, wow. which it says it's 12 inch, but it's really 13. Yeah. I'd get that, I'd get a set of bowls. I'd get the stainless steel bowls. Mm -hmm. um, I would get, um, you said the pastry mat, right? I did the pastry mat. I would mat. get a, a rolling pan, mm -hmm. the marble rolling pan, that's three. And I would get a set of um, glass prep bowls. And um, let's see, what else? Um, a cookie sheet? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd probably get a cookie sheet set. Yeah. And that would yeah. be two cookie sheets yeah. and a cookie uh, turner. Yeah. So that's five yeah. items. Okay, any other questions? Um, yeah, but I have something to add. I don't know if y'all said this, a casserole pan. I'm oh, a one, yeah, one dish one wonder. Okay. Yes. One of the bakers. Okay. Yeah, that's yes. great idea, yes. Linda. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, what is your biggest a meal flop? <laughs> meal or item? Meal, meal. Or item, whatever. Okay. I'll tell mine if while you're thinking. Okay. So when I first got married, I wanted to make meatloaf. That was my favorite meal as a kid, and I wanted to make it. And I didn't realize that you had to, like, drain the grease or whatever. So we sat there and ate 
a greasy ball of meatloaf. It was so disgusting. I couldn't eat meatloaf for 10 years afterwards. Well, you have to learn. Well, you tried. I right? tried, yeah. You have to learn. My biggest flop. I made something not too long. Oh, I know what it was. It was a flop. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it was. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to mention mine that we made on air that was a flop. I'm going to mention something else, but go ahead. Um, I don't know that it was a flop, but thinking back whenever I first started cooking, um... And that would be, uh, I made a roast. First time, you know, after I got married, first time I'd ever cooked a roast and uh, with potatoes and carrots. And um, I cooked it on top of the stove. I boiled it, but it was so tough because I didn't do the procedures like searing it and, and cooking it long enough mm -hmm. and all that. And so it was tough. And my husband, he said, um, uh, uh, Mary, it's good, but... Uh, it's not like my mama cooks it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wrong well, thing to say. Let me tell you. I found out, because Miss Linda, she was a good she cook. She was a good cook. I asked her, how do you cook a roast? And I learned how, and he didn't say that to me. Well, only time he ever said that to me. I was going to say, time. that would have been very unusual I, for him to complain time, about your food. And I don't know. He didn't say it in a way that was complaining, but he was just letting me know his mama cooked a good roast. <laughs> so you do have to, at least I do, sear your meat. What that does, Linda, is that it, it kind of cooks inside and seals, seals. in the yep. juices. Seals and, in the juices. And uh, so uh, that's kind of what I did with the brook with the uh, tempest today. I was searing the outside of it, and uh, and two, well, big little tidbits are so. I mean, they're so thin. Steak cooks fast, mm -hmm. so um, you want to cook it fast. I'm gonna check it um, and see. They probably are done. So, well, what was yours, Aunt Linda? So oh, I'm mine, sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. We sit back down. So, um, for all you want to be bakers, um, y'all saw some pictures that I posted. And I don't even know what um, prompted me to post all those pictures of cakes that we've done. We and I just posted a few on a couple of posts once. I don't even know if you saw them or not. I did. But, um, we have baked since we were eight, nine years old. Our our married started baking for I did, but I was I was her greaser pan person. <laughs> But um, I've always loved to bake. So when I was probably about, we hadn't been in Mississippi too long. I was probably 16 or 17 years old. And I wanted to bake Sister Gina cake. And she kept talking about how she loved peanuts. So I said, okay, I'm going to bake her a cake with peanuts. And those peanuts, I, well, I don't even know what kind I used, but that was the biggest mess of a cake. They all sunk to the bottom. The cake was dense. It was just... It was about two seconds from being inedible. So for everybody that wants to bake and wants to be a baker, uh, it takes practice. Yeah, it does. And one it thing does. that I've heard all of my life, and this is something that Dale Carnegie, our daddy, had his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And um, you have that too? Yeah, I have it on paperback and um, my that was That was something really big for, for daddy. For, for friends, and um, um, anyway, I was at a at a rally at a grand opening of Marriott Hotel back in Albuquerque, and I will never forget J.W. Marriott Jr., this was years ago in the 80s, he got up and he did a presentation, and I won't even go into the presentation, but he said, people always say practice makes perfect. Practice does not make perfect. It makes permanent. So you have to learn how to do something. If you do something over and over the same way all the time and you keep making the mistake, you got to learn out how to learn how to correct your mistake. But if you bake long enough and you make notes and you see what works and what doesn't work, you can become a very good baker. And um, I baked a few cakes in my lifetime. What those pictures was a very few cakes that I've baked. Yeah, she's a lot better baker. And Mary has too. But I love to bake. But the th one thing with baking is it takes time. You cannot rush yeah, it. That's true. That's true. All right, let's check now. Here, can you move? I'm sorry. It's okay. So we're... Uh,
It should be done. I don't see your napkin. So I don't see if you got any more questions. Uh, Oh, that looks scrumptious. Yes. That looks really good, Mary. And that color is beautiful. I'm going to wash my hands and wipe that camera off. That looks so good. I'll get a plate and I'll... You want, you want just the little plates, right? Uh, now get a big plate, please. Oh, okay. So you're going to just plate I'm them. just going to plate them. I'll turn this off. Then you want a scoop to put the rice or you just got to um, spoon it out? I'll probably just spoon it out. Uh, there's my rice spoon. Do you want me to hold it? See, this is the rice. I'm not going to make a lot. Okay. The plate. I also made some English peas, but I'll put that on there in a minute. Let me see here. Let me get a spoon out of here. Put a little bit of pepper in there. That looks beautiful. I'm not making a big plate. But you see see how the um, gravy it thickened it, it up, thickened up yes. a lot. So you you just you want that brought that um, base real thin when you uh, when you first start so it can cook and then you'll hand me a spoon is this the one you use for the spoons or do you want another one no that is that that's a piece that's a piece spoon i just opened up some peas and carrots and i didn't put much in the plate but anyway and i, I guess i put a little i find a big piece of meat in here and show y'all that it is tender okay that looks delicious. I'm going to show you. This is not a knife, but it's a case knife. It'll... See? Anyway, really good. Get your spoon and let a fork land and taste it. Bell pepper. Mm. You like it? That is so good, Mary. This is really a meal. It's really all you mm -hmm. need, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really yeah. good. Meat was very tender. Mm. Okay. You have a question? Several people ask, um, you're about your website and cookbooks. Okay. Oh. oh, we haven't mentioned that. Okay. Uh, we have cookbooks and they will start shipping out today. So all you people that ordered in January, we have a cookbooks and they're going out today. We were supposed to originally get these last Thursday, but the weather made it delay. Mm -hmm. right. So we got them yesterday. Chuck mm -hmm. work, worked really last late night. last night and is working today. So thank you all for being patient. Right. Uh, we do have some in inventory besides what's sold. So if you want one, go to www.pinkymileskitchen.com. And that's where you'll need to order from. Right. And we have aprons and cups. Yes. And the pink balls. And um, if you're interested in our recipes, uh, members, if you, I mean, if you want to access our recipes, they are printable. You can join our membership and you will also do that on our website, uh, www.pinkymileskitchen.com. Click on membership and you will fill in the information. It's a uh, small charge of $5.99 a month plus whatever taxes is in your area. And uh, you will see uh, a little special content from us and also the printable recipes. And there's a video with every recipe on, yes. on our members page. And so. this, has, this is since October the 5th. And uh, we do have some bonus recipes on there. Uh, all the recipes that we've cooked since October the 5th and some bonus. It does not mean that all of our recipes are on there, but we do have extra ones on there every month. I forgot, Linda, did I turn in that pizza dough? Uh, yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. So that was, that's, that was um, previous, and we're not doing the pizza dough again, but the recipe is on our menu. There is a video of it. And you did, um, what was it? Did you um, turn I it put um, peanut patties, Texas peanut patties, and cream cheese bars. And we're not cooking them again. We, that was back in 2020 that we did it. 
and but the recipe is on our yes. members page. All right, um, I appreciate y'all joining and being patient with us and getting this little meal put together. And this is what we'll have for lunch. So, and we'll be at my house tomorrow cooking. And uh, hope everyone has a, a wonderful day. Uh, be sure to count your blessings and 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 try to be nice to somebody today that you wouldn't normally maybe go out of your way to be nice to somebody that maybe you don't have, you know, like somebody in a store or somebody at work or something. It'll make you feel yes, good. Yes, yes, it, it will. will. Make a, Lift somebody up. Right. Don't forget to count your blessings. We love y'all. Bye. Bye-bye.